December 7th, 1941, a date that will live in infamy, according to President F. E. Roosevelt. And it's a day in which Pearl Harbor was attacked and the day in which air and naval power change forever. I'm John Buckley and I teach the War City Degree Programme here at Wolverhampton. During the Second World War, the integration of air and naval power dramatically altered. And it is most famously associated with the developments in the so-called Pacific War between the Japanese Navy and the American Navy. In particular, the two main ways in which you sink uh, ships at sea in the, nine, the 1940s were either dive bombing attacks, where you sweep down from high altitude directly onto a target to drop a bomb onto the deck. Uh, it was the most accurate way of hitting a ship, particularly if it's moving at sea. But the most deadly and destructive way of sinking a ship was to use torpedoes. So the alternative method was torpedo bombing, which was aircraft coming at a very low level and dropping torpedoes, which would then hit the ship underwater 